You always do this Take control of my emotions and make me stupid Create commotions in my brain and I can't help it Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tori G here and I'm here to talk to you about how I use BX Crispy Tuner and BX Crispy Scale to tune the vocals on a new song called Ride Slow by the artist Alexon. Let's jump on in. All right guys, check it out. Here's the session. As you can see, BX Crispy Tuner is all over this session, literally on every vocal. I'll let you hear a song in context with the vocals and then I'll talk to you about how I tuned them specifically. Here we go. You always do this. Take control of my emotions and make me stupid. Create commotions in my brain and I can't help it. You keep coming in my life when you know you bad for me. And that's the only way that you could ever get the best of me. You made me let my guard down. I shouldn't let this happen, but I ain't even gon' stop it. Your love is so toxic. You guys get the point, right? As you can see, I have my session uh, organized by vocal groups. Vocal group one is the lead vocal. We have background vocal one, background vocal two, and uh, effects chains at the end here. First and foremost, what you want to do is just drop your crispy tuner on all the tracks that you want to apply it to, and then add in the BX Crispy Scale onto your instrumental bus or your instrument track, instrumental track. In this case, BX Crispy Scale worked perfectly because number one, this was a two track instrumental that the artist had bought. So I needed to know scale. I needed to know what key, right? And all you have to do is hit detect scale, play the audio from the instrumental. BX Crispy Scale will analyze and then generate three different options as far as what scale the song might be in. Turns out that on this song, all of these would apply. Uh, it just turns out that the uh, G minor scale actually applied the best here because of the performance of the vocals. What, I would, what you would do here is hit apply. And then since we already have all our crispy tuners on every track that we want, we would just hit send to BX crispy tuner and boom. All your BS Crispy Tuners should follow suit and have the G minor scale already implanted and input on there as far as what root note and what scale it's on. So what does that mean? It saves you time. And I love that feature. Probably one of the best features of this plugin suite here. The main vocal is tuned. I tuned it very lightly. I didn't want it to be too much, but I still wanted to be tight onto the correct notes. So what I wanted to do is make sure that the tightness, which is how closely the pitch is kept on target. I, I think I had it on seven and then I had it on, had this about 50%, which was about 77, 76 milliseconds as far as the, how quickly it transitions from note to note. I also had the note tolerance, the time down to zero. I wanted the crispy tuna to respond immediately um, you may want to adjust that for a little bit more natural uh, uh, time tolerance, but I like the way it sounded, and we went with that. Um, another key portion here was the formant preservation. I didn't want, I wanted it to be tuned a little bit more, but I didn't want to lose too much of the natural tone, so I only knocked it down to about 92 here. So the formant gets tuned, um, but still also kind of kept natural. It's like kind of like a a parallel processing thing going on here, how much that we wanted the formants of the vocals to be tuned. So let's go ahead and take a listen here. You always do this. Take control of my emotions and make me stupid. So as you can see, those settings were sounding pretty nice here. So I'm going to go ahead and zero these out again, and we'll hear it as I make these uh, changes. You'll hear, the, you'll hear a big difference. And this is what I love about Crispy Tuners. You can dial in these um, settings 
perfectly as, as much or as little as you need. You always do this. Take control of my emotions and make me stupid. Create commotions in my brain and I can't help it. You keep coming in my life when you know you bad for me. And that's the only way that you could ever get the best of me. Very, very nice. Very nice. All right. And so that's all there is to it, man, On the, as far as the advanced mode goes. But I would want to talk to you more about how simple mode is just as powerful. So on the backgrounds, I wanted them to be tuned. And I also wanted them to be very in time. So all I did here was with simple mode, make sure the key, uh, the root note and the scale was set uh, based off of the crispy scale uh, setting. And all I had to do was dial it in. I'm going to start with subtle and then I'm going to show you exactly how it sounds. So I'm actually going to mute the lead vocal here. We're just going to listen to the to the uh, backgrounds here. So you can hear that, you know, it's very subtle, if not, if it's sometimes not at all. And I'm going to dial it in. Only way that you could ever get the best of me. So what it's doing is because of the way the tuning is working with the time and how he performed, it actually keeps the background vocals in time without doing a whole bunch of pitch shifting and a whole bunch of, you know, manual work. It actually saved me a ton of time. So check that out. Only way that you could ever get the best of me. Only way that you could ever get the best of me. Without it, it seems like, it, you know, it's out of time or a little ever so slightly out of time. It just locks it in. It just locks it in. And that's just with the simple mode, you guys. Super cool, super powerful. All right, and I'm gonna just go ahead and switch it to graphical mode. And so the cool thing about graphical mode is you can make it bigger. Super, I love scalable GUI. It makes it so much easier to work. So under graphical mode, all you have to do is just play the audio. Your love is so toxic. When and boom. Now all I have to do is highlight the notes that I want. You can even hit control um control and then use your scroll wheel to zoom in wherever your mouse is it makes it so quick to see everything and get get your workflow really fast all right so as you can see what i've highlighted it actually tells you exactly the note range here um on the right hand side under the target notes so i want these to all be on the same key or the same note right now so i'm going to hit a quick key command found in the manual it's m boom now all the notes are on uh, the same note here. All the, the vocals are on the same note, or at least this on this track, right? So all I have to do is drag it to a specific note, which, it, which follows suit on the scale, and boom, I've, I can create a harmony. So let's try creating a harmony. Um, let's put it on, I think it was G that sounded good here. Let's try G and then bring the last two notes down to F. Let's see how that sounds. Your love is so toxic. Wow, pretty dope, pretty dope. So I'm getting like, your love is so toxic. I can't sing, but you know how it goes. You can even make deeper harmonies. So you just bring the same thing down. Uh, let's put this on G, where does it go down? G three. And you can have a low, you can create yourself a low harmony. Your love is so toxic. See how that works? And because I have the transition time set to specific um, time, you can actually modify that here also, just like on the advanced page and on the uh, simple mode. So I want to keep the, I want to keep the harmonies tight, but I don't want it to be too robotic. So I'm going to turn the transition time a little bit, uh, turn it down by quite a bit here and i'm gonna let's take another listen your love is so toxic wow now let's listen to it into the context of the instrumental your love is so toxic when we make love i'm infused with your poison but I love so i'm gonna
super sweet, super cool. You also have vibrato control. So if you have longer notes that you want to con control, you can actually, um, let's see, you can actually make that happen. So check that out. You can make it as much or as little as possible or go in reverse. Super awesome, super awesome. Makes it sound a little bit more natural. Let's try hearing how that sounds. Your love is so toxic. Wow, the slight modulation makes it seem a little bit more realistic. That's really cool. Hey, great job, Brainworks and Plugin Alliance. So happy to be able to use this. And guess what, you guys? To the audience out there, you guys are going to get your chance to mix this song also with the Mix with Mega Session coming up for you. You're going to get these stems, these audio. You're going to see exactly how I did it. And then you can try it, take a crack at it on your way. So... Check it out. I'm excited about this. You guys should be also. Take it easy, y'all.